It's been a little over a week since Alec Murdoch was found guilty of murdering his wife and son, receiving two life sentences. Now, the six week long trial brought national attention to the town of Walterboro. Our Nate Stanley went to the town today with a look at what it's like now that the crowds are gone. It feels pretty much back to normal. It really does. A somewhat forgotten feeling for Mandy Burdick. She's the co-owner of Twig, a shop along Main Street in Walterboro, South Carolina. She says her store became a common tourist spot for those who couldn't make it to the court. There were enough people that they would come and they wouldn't be able to get into the courthouse because they'd hit capacity. So then the people who would come to the courthouse would wander down the street and be like, oh, here's a shop, let's go in. Now with the trial over and the hectic days done with, Walterboro is starting to feel like it used to. It's nice to have things back to normal, whatever that is, but we miss our new regulars, which are now gone back to Louisiana or North Carolina, wherever they came from. Outside the Colleton Courthouse, what was once a lawn full of news outlets is now back to being empty. Guardrails that were used to get people in and out of the courthouse are now neatly stacked in piles around the building. Those still fascinated by the saga stop by the courthouse steps to take pictures, including Joe and Linda Chapman from Merle's Inlet. We just kind of wanted to see where everything happened. Yeah. And, you know, you just start listening to all this, and it's like a drama that you just have been keeping up with reading about. And you just, and it's very seldom you get to visually look at something like that. So when you got the opportunity, you just come see, hey, let's go look at what happened. After the courthouse, they made the 30 minute trip to the Murdoch's Moselle property in Colleton County. Throughout the afternoon, dozens of cars stopped by the gates to take pictures or just visit the site of the crime. Nana Smock and her sister drove by to take in the eerie feeling of being so close to the scene. Well, I was just curious to know where, to, where it happened at. I told my sister spook, spooky, kind of scary, isn't it? As the sun was setting, fewer cars rolled through and neighbors eventually started asking passerbys to leave. This man was seen putting up flags and caution tape warning people not to cross into the property. In Colleton County, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. As you just heard, hundreds from around the state not only visited Walterboro during the trial, but closely followed what happened in the courtroom each day. But why? Why were so many people compelled by this case? We spoke with some local attorneys in the Midlands to get some answers. They say the level of power and influence the Murdoch family had over Walterboro plays a huge role. Experts also say the new information revealed in the trial allowed viewers to imagine what might have happened as details unfolded. Other lawyers argue there's still a lot of attention toward the case because of how much information remains unclear, like the full story surrounding Murdoch's attempted suicide. Right now, Murdoch is in prison serving two life sentences. His legal team filed an appeal asking that his murder convictions and sentences be overturned. It's unclear how long the appeal process could take. To find more coverage on this trial, you can visit our website, WLTX.com.